Now what I've done here is just drawn up the fact that in year one, 2006, the profit was £50,000 and in year two, 2007, we multiply the profit by the common ratio R and we get 50,000 R. So in year three, for instance, that would be 2008, the profit would be to multiply this by another R and you'd get 50,000 times R to the power two. And that'd be in pounds. And so therefore to find out the profit in year n, what happens is essentially that it's going to be 50,000 multiplied by r to a power and that power is always one less than the year that you're on. Okay? So like for instance in year 5 it would be 50,000 r to the power 4. So in year n it's going to be 50,000 times r to the power n minus 1. Now you should really know this because this is a geometric sequence and it's a well known fact that if you have a geometric sequence where the first term is a and the second term is a r, you multiply it by a common ratio, r, the third term be a r squared, fourth term be a r cubed and so on, then the nth term is always going to be equal to a r to the power n minus 1 and that's essentially what we've used here. Okay, 